is I don't want to turn anybody off to riding one of these bicycles, okay? But you got to be aware of the certain characteristics that are unique to this bike. The handling characteristics are a little bit different on this bike as opposed to any other bicycle. <laughs> Okay guys, welcome back. Today I'm out just tooling around the city, enjoying myself, riding my Brompton. And uh, there are some handling characteristics of this bike that uh, I don't think a lot of people are aware of when they buy a bicycle like this. I love this bicycle and I've had a pretty decent time with it so far. But there are some characteristics about this bicycle that people need to be aware of when they first get one just so you don't get hurt because there are some differences in the way this bike handles as, a, as opposed to a regular bicycle. Now, this goes for anything, okay? A mountain bike, a mountain bike is going to handle differently than a road bike. A road bike's gonna handle differently than a fixed gear bike. A fixed gear bike's gonna handle differently than maybe a cruiser. You know, all those bikes have different handling characteristics, but one thing most of those bikes have in common is they have bigger wheels on them. So when you're riding on the road, and I showed you the road and what the roads in the city look like, roads in the city are patchworks of nonsense most of the time. Where do our taxpayer money go? I don't know. But with that being said, most bicycles with bigger wheels will go over depressions, imperfections, potholes, all these different road hazards that you have to be, you know, pretty much doubly aware of when you have a Brompton bicycle. See guys, one thing you got to be aware about on a Brompton bicycle is the fact that the wheels are so small. The 16 inch wheels are very, 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 very small in comparison to a normal road bike that has 700 seat wheels. So depressions, dents, potholes, cracks in the road, you're going to feel those twice as hard as you would on a normal bicycle. This is a perfect example right here. You see the depression right here? and look at the, the wheel as it comes up. That's a hell of a jump, you know what I'm saying? So when you hit that, you're definitely gonna feel it a lot more on this bicycle as opposed to a 
bicycle with bigger wheels. Obviously, bigger wheels means it's going to roll over a lot of uh, cracks in the road and depressions a lot easier than a bicycle like this one will. So you got to be really, really mindful of that. These wheels are over, I think over twice as small as a 700 c wheel on a normal road bike. That means whatever bump you hit, however hard it feels on a road bike, it's going to feel twice as hard on a Brompton. And you've got to, uh, you got to be aware of that. Now, don't worry about the wheels. These wheels are double walled. They're very, very durable. You're not going to damage the wheels, so don't worry about that. See, things like this is what you got to really be aware of. Depressions in the road right here. On a normal road bike, you're, you're going to feel it. It's going, you're going to know you ran over a big depression. But on this bike, it's going to feel like you hit a curb. You know what I'm saying? Not quite, but, you know, close. So basically, if you come up to a bump in the road or a, uh, a raised part of the sidewalk or whatever, and you figure, well, I, I could roll over that fine on my regular road bike, pretend it's twice as big as it is, over twice as big as it is, and then ask yourself that same question. Would I roll over it on my regular road bike? And if the answer to that is no, you don't want to roll over that on the Brompton. As you could see on that montage of me riding uh, through the city, I'm avoiding a lot of things that I think are gonna jar the bike seriously. Even though the bike can roll over it fine, and if you're holding onto the handlebars pretty tight, you'll be okay, but at the same time, it is kind of uncomfortable in some respects. So just avoid a lot of those cracks and depressions, unless they're not that big. Now, don't get me wrong, guys. I don't want to turn anybody off to riding one of these bicycles, okay? I, they're super fun. They're awesome. They're peppy. They're speedy. They're everything I would want in a bicycle. But you got to be aware of the certain characteristics that are unique to this bike. The handling characteristics are a little bit different on this bike as opposed to any other bicycle. The depressions and cracks and imperfections in the sidewalks and roads, yes, they're dangerous for any bicycle, okay? But when you're riding a Brompton, you gotta, make, you gotta pay attention to that stuff and you definitely gotta keep both hands on the handlebars because it will jostle the steering around quite violently on a Brompton as opposed to a regular bicycle. Now this problem amplifies the faster you go. When you get to 22, 23 miles an hour, the effect is quite amplified. So you definitely need to make sure that you put both hands on the handlebars in that situation. Otherwise, <laughs> just the slightest little jostling is definitely gonna throw you off balance quite significantly. We've all rode our bicycles one-handed, you know, and we've all hit like cracks or depressions in the road and, and the steering got jostled and you kind of freak out a little bit. It, it's kind of scary because you're all like, oh crap. Imagine that by two times on a, and you'll get the feeling of what it's like on a Brompton. You have to be careful, that's all I'm saying. And once you're aware of these things, you, you start having radar for all the different dips and depressions in the road. You can run over some of them perfectly fine. You could run over even the big ones perfectly fine as long as you're holding onto the handlebar. I uh, was riding down a hill over 20 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour a week ago. And I pulled my hand off the handlebar to ride one handed because I was trying to get something out of my pocket. And my hand accidentally brushed the handlebar or brushed the brake lever, I should say. And the steering went quite violently one way. And I was like, oh shit, you know, I was not paying attention. And I was, <laughs> it's enough to make your heart beat a little bit because I thought I was going to go over. Now I'm aware of that problem and I don't pull my hands off the handlebars without being very, very careful and, and also checking the road to make sure there's nothing that's going to jostle my steering around quite a bit especially when you're going 20 miles an hour. Many hours later. Like I was saying, you could have so much fun on a Brompton. It is just unreal. I, I have a blast every time I ride this bike. Every single time I ride this bike, I have a blast. But like stuff like that, where you're hitting, uh, you're hitting a huge crack if you hit it the right way, um, big bumps, depressions in the road, stuff like this right here. You see, Ooh. stuff like that can really, really jostle you around. So you've got to be careful. There's just no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You should be careful on any bike, but especially a Brompton.
The reason why I decided to make this video in the first place, guys, is because I met a girl a while back ago who bought one of these bicycles. And within a week, she returned it and said she didn't want it. She returned it to REI. I think that's where she said she bought it. And she didn't like it because she said it was too, uh, it was too squirrely is what her, uh, was what her uh, description of the steering was like. And she said she was riding, and of course, she was riding pretty slow. I said, how fast were you going? She goes, not very fast. And she showed me, and it was probably about this fast. And she hit uh, a depression in the sidewalk, and the steering just did like this. It went Ooh, like that, and she fell off the bike. So she basically acted like the bike was just flawed in some way because on her other bike, it wouldn't have happened if she hit that, you know what I'm saying? And I told her, well, you got to take into consideration that you have much smaller wheels. And I told her the whole thing. I said, look, that depression, pretend it's two times as big as it is, over two times as big as it is. And would you still hit it on your regular bike? And she said, no. Well, I told her that's the whole reason. I told her that you have to, you have to pretend objects in the road, bumps, depressions, cracks, whatever, you have to pretend that they're twice as big as they actually are because your wheels are twice as small. And then when I started explaining this stuff to her, it kind of clicked. You could see that it clicked and it made sense. And then she said, oh, well, that makes sense. And that's what she said, that makes sense. So she gave up a really awesome bike just because of the fact that she had a unfavorable experience the first time around. So like I said guys, understand the handling characteristics of the bike before you set out on it. I recommend keeping both your hands on the handlebars at all times because <laughs> until you're used to the kind of little quirkiness of this bike, you're, you're, you, you could get into an accident. I think a lot of people do get into accidents, so I think a lot of people have a negative opinion of this bicycle because of those accidents, and they don't need to happen because you just have to be aware of those things that I've mentioned. But once you're aware of those things and you know to look out for specific road hazards, you know how your bike handles, once you get a feel for it, then you can ride it without worry and you won't have to, it'll become like second nature to you and then you'll have a blast on this bicycle. Anyway, I hope this video uh, kind of explained more about the characteristics of this bike so that any of you potential Brompton customers out there, people that want to buy this bike, are aware of this stuff before you buy it. That way, when you first ride it, you're not turned off by some of the handling characteristics. You will get used to it. It is very, very, very fun. It's a very, very fun bike. There's nothing dangerous about it once you know how to handle it. That's all it is about, man, is learning how to handle this bike. Once you learn how to handle this bike, you will have great fun. And it won't take you long. It'll take you a couple of rides, maybe, to learn the quirks of this bicycle. I just want you to be safe and I don't want you to get turned off by little incidents like that chick I just mentioned. I don't want you to get turned off and I want you to buy a Brompton and enjoy it because that's what they're built for and they are an awesome, awesome bike. So if you guys have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comment question section. Slap a like on the video if you thought it helped at all and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.